With alcohol cars, it's really important to keep an eye on what the exhaust gas temperature is like uh, on the car. The biggest reason is you want to keep from polluting the oil. Uh, when the car is at an idle uh, and you're driving up into the staging lanes or you're coming back from a pass, you want to try and keep the exhaust gas temperature at about 500 to 650 degrees. Um, and you monitor that with a, an EGT gauge, such as the autometer gauge, like is in our car. You can see right now that uh, even though it's not started up, it's pretty cold in the trailer, and it's showing that it's 20 degrees. Uh, the EGT gauge uh, works with a type K thermocouple uh, that is a real simple installation. You install it one in, a, um, in one of the exhaust tubes uh, of your headers and you, you install it one inch, one inch from the flange here with a quarter inch hole and then the type K thermocouple just slides down into the hole and then attaches with a band clamp. Uh, the, the thermocouple then is just routed uh, back to the gauge and it plugs uh, into the back of the gauge. Um, this will read the, the exhaust temperature right here and you have it placed so that the probe, the tip of the probe, is in the center uh, of the tube. Uh, which it will automatically be because of the way it positions in the band. What you do is, because the exhaust gas temperature will vary uh, as your your uh, as your engine warms up uh, or as you're coming back from a pass, you change that temperature by using your fuel shutoff valve uh, or, um, or cable by just moving it in and out all the way in would be full fuel and you bring it out just a little bit and what that'll do is uh, lean the motor out a little bit and you adjust it so that you have the right temperature what happens in some cases, real cold days like it is today, um, the, an alcohol motor has a hard time sometimes getting up to temperature. You need to be able to bring the car out of staging at 160 degrees. Uh, I learned this from experience at the Gator Nationals one year about two years ago where they pulled us up into the staging lanes about 5.30 in the evening. Cars were all warmed up, ready to run. Something happened. Uh, I think there was an accident on the track. We got stuck back in staging. Wound up having to get the cars started and warmed up twice before we got to run. Well, what happens was when the cars sit, that all of a sudden you have to go run, you've got to get them warmed up real quick. So what, I, what we've done, and a lot of guys do, is install a ball valve in the cockpit with a, a number eight AN line that goes back to just under the intake here. Can you see it? There we go right in here and it goes under the in, in the intake there's a 3 8 inch uh, female uh, pipe thread hole that's drilled into the very top of the intake with a fitting so what you're going to do is when you need to warm the motor up quickly you just open the ball valve and it allows air additional air to go into the top of the intake and it leans the motor out. Now what's happening is it's actually just drawing additional fuel through the idle circuit but not through the main jets. So it does allow the motor to go a little lean 
and it'll warm up very quickly for you, save a lot of fuel, and that way you don't you don't get screwed up when you you know go to make make a pass.